Pick up your phone, you bastard. A for cunt. What are you saying, mate? You alright? I'm just in someone's gaff with fucking bare people. And I've been on the fucking laptop the last couple of hours just playing the ill beats, you know what I mean? Just getting people to spell it like class in the UK hip hop. Oh, hello, mate. Oh, hello, my name is Joey D.
Records in the building. It's in a little pub, listening to a lot of jazz records. Arrow, notorious graffiti writer. He's been playing fair Russian and Soviet breaks and shit, and it's heavy, bro. Nice little 30th birthday, got my friends around me, you know what I mean? He's missing us in his life, boys, one time, please. Pretty mad, 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 mad. Village live, 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 live.
joke, I just spent like about an hour trying to make this tune like pump properly at the start. I don't even know what that means, but it's fucking hench. Check this shit out. Some up-tempo b-boy rowdiness coming for your fucking face. By the police, fucking stupid cunts. Fucking try and pull me over, dickheads. Didn't do me for nothing, can't catch me for nothing, I've got away. Fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> That's all you get for now. Peace. How's it going, man? I'm hungover as fuck. I did have plans to make some study music despite you today. <laughs> That's not gonna happen now. <laughs> I think the next craze that we should start should be 24-7 music to be hungover, stroke depressed, stroke miserable, stroke anxious too. start with the, the hefty drum break.
went to the little rifle shop just off Quayside. Pretty shite one. And uh, found the Sheffield Library rock instrumental record along with drum brakes. So yeah, just put a bit of a nice twist on the end of the day. You fucking prick. Uh, not sure if I played you this one yet. It's a new one me and Duran started. been asked to partake in a, a live streaming DJ event hosted by Red Bull Music. You mug. Yes, mate. Uh, I'm just making this Red Bull intro now. Uh, do you want it with one of my beats on it or do you want it just completely a cappella? Because you, you can have it either way. Like, this is what it sounds like with my beat on it. Check.
behavior, misbehavior, with the old man in Berlin flavor. <laughs> Finally, first, I guess, bit of good news in the fucking lockdown. Uh, they're going to reprint the sevens at no extra cost. They're only going to print 150 of them, but that's fine. I mean, yeah, that is good. So, yeah, that's enough to cover all the orders, give you a box, and then that'll leave me plenty to hopefully flog to some shops, get a few more orders, and I have to break even, mate. Maybe even make a couple of quid if we're lucky. So, yeah. I guess that's a win, best of a bad situation, but yeah, uh, any thoughts or feedback, you know? Holla, Rick Waller. See you in a bit. P.S. You're a daft cunt. Blood. I was actually going to write you an emotional message this morning saying how nice it is to have you that runs a label back the tunes and shit and you know and then I get to sit around making bangers like this all day in the hope that it'll get put out but I wasn't going to write it because you know you're a prick but check the shit anyway
wanker. On a real though, friends recognise friends, and uh, this ain't no Central Park, but you're my boy.
tune. Bed's real high, it's almost busting. I'm just walking back to Nikki's house. I'm gonna go back to Brighton in the morning, see my little kitten, sit down and just live the quiet life with my cat, because that's what I'm about, man. Like, I'm not about anything else. Um, that's that. Like, no one really cares. It's just, it's life. L A F E G O E S O N. And it does, like, it really does go on. No one really notices. Kind of, you go along, we're all the cogs in the system. We just go along doing the same fucking boring thing, and nobody notices a thing. And, uh, we do it. And that's that. Day and night, we roll through. So, got a lot of love for all of you boys for believing in the label, believing in Doug. He's a good guy, man. I don't believe in that Joey D. He's a fucking idiot. And that's a. Uh, that's it, that's village life, so if you want to go to the village, just fucking run up a hill and look out and just picture what a world would be without fucking hatred. Peace out, pick up yourself. Cheers.
share with you. Signing out. One.